All right, time for some more battery switching. Uh, I'm gonna do a little bit more work with uh, Carlos Benitez battery switching. Uh, that's where you have two batteries in series. Uh, in this case, I have 12 volt batteries, so in series it's 24 volts. Two batteries in parallel, uh, so that's 12 volts each. And then I actually put a load in between the two positives, and then I switch using a relay this series battery set of batteries to parallel and this battery uh, parallel set of batteries to series and then I put that through a full bridge rectifier so it always comes out as an absolute value of the difference so that's this battery here or this pair here batteries one and two batteries three and four uh, batteries one and two are pack one so they're both together at 24.8 volts pack two is 12.6 volts uh, and then I can switch uh oh so make sure I got this connected here I have the have to have the the relay power working let's try it again there we go So now I can switch pack one from series to pack two to being series. So now I'm gonna turn this on, run this motor. This motor takes uh, the Bedini back EMF and runs this LED. So this LED is not being, will not be lit by either of these batteries. Um, and then I'll replace that LED with these batteries and I'll charge these batteries with the back EMF from this, uh, this motor. So power on, let's give it a kickstart for the motor. So there you see the light. I have a PWM, I'm gonna turn the power down a little bit. There we go. And here you'll see pack one is discharging into pack two. So pack two just increased to 13.1, pack one uh, decreased to 23.8 from 23.9. So as that voltage difference gets smaller, uh, you'll hear the, the motor run a little bit slower. And again, the LED is being lit by the back EMF from the motor. So here we have a battery charging, a battery pack charging, and a load that is being run <coughs> from back EMF. All right, so now I wanna charge these batteries. So I'm going to shut the system down, or before I do that, here hopefully you can see this is the voltage difference and the amperage. So we're running at 1.81 amps at 8.5 volts, and that's the difference between pack 1 and pack 2, the effective difference. Alright, so let's shut this off. Or actually, before I do that, here we switch the voltages. So now the batteries that we're charging are in series, and the battery that was uh, discharging is put in parallel. So now that one's going to go up. So we have a battery charging, and we're lighting a light. Uh, and we're running a motor all from battery packs one and two or uh, actually now from pack two which is batteries three and four all right so let's shut that down now we are going to hook up this battery pack so that we can charge it I gotta hold the camera sorry about that 
All right, now these two, I so those, <laughs> those two are live, so <laughs> I gotta make sure I don't touch them together. All right, let's see if I can set this down safely. All right, so that is the connection for these two batteries that are 12.8. So let's take a look, start this motor back up. So now instead of lighting up an LED, we're gonna see if it charges these batteries. So let's get the motor a kickstart. So now we're running at 2.48 amps at, with an 8.9 volt difference. Battery pack 2 is the driving battery pack 23.9. Pack 1 is 12.9. And that one is charging. And the, this, these batteries are would be charging as well. So they are getting a back EMF feed. Now what I found is that uh, realistically, in this battery switching context, these don't charge very fast. So now let's go back here. We got 13 on pack one, 23.9 on pack two. The difference is 8.7 volts now we're running at about 2.3 amps Here we can see the discharging pack pack 2 decreasing and pack 1 increasing and these batteries are going to be sitting at about 12.8 so what I can do is maybe hook these up to let's see, here we go. Let's see if I can get this without messing anything up. Oh, I got lucky. I got the positive connected to the back EMF. Let's see if I can get lucky with one hand doing the left or doing the, uh, the negative without her. Okay, I'm going to set this camera down for a second. All right, got them connected. So here is the trace on the oscilloscope. You have 10 volts per division, switch to five. All right, now we're at five volts per division. So you can see that we're at close to, let's see, one, two, yeah, about 13 volts going into these batteries. So now pack pack one is at 13.2 volts. Pack two is dropped to 23.8. Let's switch them again. You hear the motor speed up. Oh, there we go, we gotta change. 12.9 and 12.8. So we're getting 12.9 on the bat charging batteries uh, using the back EMF. So I wanted to just do this quick little demo to demonstrate that you can have two battery packs discharging into another two battery packs and put a load in between them 
the difference between the voltages will drive the load and then that load in this case a motor with a Bedini circuit can use its back EMF to charge another set of batteries so that's four batteries that are charging and one pair is discharging while we're running a load here you see pack 1 voltage at 23.7 pack 2 voltage at 13.1 just a quick demo and then again because one is discharging into the other we can switch at the optimal time and just keep those toggling in at the whole time and at the entire time that'll keep these batteries charging while you're running a load all right that's about it like subscribe and share